hello hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope everyone are doing great i'm also doing good so in this video we're gonna discuss about one of the interesting scenario based interview question asked to one of our subscribers in one of the product based company i felt it is interesting uh, that, that is the reason i thought of sharing it to everyone so we have a production iceberg table and it is approximately 100 terabyte of the size and it has hundreds of columns and billions of rows are available and we have a spark queries running on the table and it can show you the inconsistent performance that means if the query runs uh, for certain time in a day it is taking some maybe five minutes if you rerun the same query it is maybe taking 10 times second time and maybe 15 times for the third time so something like that it will be very inconsistent in the results so due to that the spark job is also facing uh, instability issues right the same table was referred by multiple times in the queries okay so this is the problem so if anyone has any idea about this problem or anyone has already gone through this problem or solved it please add into the comment section below or if you have any thoughts or any ideas add it into the comment section we can discuss those as well right so to solve this kind of a problem first of all we need to understand is when you remember say that a table is referenced multiple times in the same query so everyone can think that we can go for the caching since it is a very big table we can't go for the caching and most likely for this imbalance for any sort of the table either it may be high iceberg or it may be uh, delta table or it may be snowflake table the mostly the reason would be partition imbalance that means some partition has higher in sizes some partition has less in size and of course the iceberg table is partitioned by the data and type so that, that may be the mostly the reason so to clarify that might be the reason we need to check the metadata of the table to see if that is a pro that is a problem so to check the metadata we'll get to know what is the size of on average size of each partition so mostly it will be imbalance size so to solve this kind of a problem in delta table we have a g order command is available so that we can group all the related data into one partition sorting inside the partition and in case of the snowflake the similar concept clustering key is available so in iceberg we do not have those concepts instead what we need to do we have to sort the data within the partition and we need to store and one other important point that we need to understand here is the table is very big table and it is a production table so since it is in the production multiple pipelines can point to the same table so if you try to do the altering commands or anything as such it may hurt the other pipelines so that is more risky so to solve this kind of a problem what we can do is we'll try to identify very few partitions and copy the few partition to a another temporary table similar schema of the original table so while loading the data to the other table we can sort the data and we can load it into the data so likewise gradually we'll take the data from the original table and we'll load it into the target table so once you can done all this activity we can point the all the pipelines to the priority table and we'll start running at it it can definitely give you the better performance so this is how we can able to tackle this problem so you apply the cluster by country and partition by date you can see in the one partition it will obviously sorted based on the country as well so that any system can easily identify the records though it has a imbalanced data so the final result is we can balance the partitions and so that we can get the predictable and spark performance so no cache is required here various techniques are available in iceberg to balance the partitions so there will be different distribution strategies are available one particular strategy is nothing but a hashing so hashing is exactly uh, similar to the high bucketing strategy and the second one is we have the sorting strategy what we have lied earlier that means whenever you are trying to load the data we'll sort it and we'll load the data into the table the third one is nothing means by default it points to the nothing means no sorting strategy that it applies so randomly it will place the data that is the reason it can show you the inconsistent performance results so i hope you learned some new or interesting concept in this video if you do please do like share and subscribe thank you